Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be walking from Chancery Lane down to the monument. I'm kind of going to be walking on the route of the Great Fire of London. So if you've got children and they're learning about it in school, this is a good route. I'm doing it backwards. Most people say start from the monument. It's a good way to start. That's the marker um, of where it started. But I'm doing it backwards of how far it spread to. So it spread all this way to Chancery Lane. And then we're going to head on through to St Paul's. We might swing by the Museum of London. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get there. It's a Friday afternoon, people are on their lunch break, so yeah, quite a few people about. Well, it's the end of lunch break, really, but it's a lovely summer's day. Plenty of places to grab something to eat around here. some e-scooters and e-bikes. <laughs> and here, they got it under construction, but it's something called the Staples Inn. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the, the sign, but this building, this Tudor building here, one of the one of the few places in this area to have survived the fire. Yeah, one of the few places to have survived the fire. So it's very very old, very very old building. So it's the fire started in 1666 and right now it's 2022 so yeah history right here I think there's only I think people actually live in here still it's called the Staples Inn yeah people still live here And the area we're in right now is Holborn. Just in case you need to get your bearings right.
I think this is because that statue is here there because we're approaching Blackfriars I think.
I think this is the Old Bailey. Building some flats, looks like. Oh, it says landscape terraces, winter gardens, oh, market hall, rooftop restaurant, wellness club, oh, swimming pool, and beautiful views and cafes. Oh, it's offices. It's more offices. Okie dokie. And here it is. The beautiful St. Paul's. It's one of those buildings that are just so amazing architecturally and you don't really realise until you go close up to it, all the detail. So the other day when I was up here, as, like, when we get closer you'll see, but I didn't realise, like, I was just staring at it, just like, like a tourist, <laughs> like an explorer. I was just, just staring at it like, it's actually deep. They didn't have all the technology that we have now. And they still made this beautiful building. Well, let's film down here. Cause lots of people work here. Lots of places to eat. We'll go down here. Where they have a screen at the moment for the summer. Showing lots of different things until the 9th of September. Here we go, we got it right at the right time. Part of the architecture that I was talking about is are the little faces that you can see. Let me see if we can zoom. 
Let me take my shades off. There's like a face above every kind of arch thing. And then little ones as you go along, all the way down, all the way around. It's amazing. I wonder how long it took to build this. And obviously the original St. Paul's got damaged in the fire. So then Sir Christopher Wren he built it. And by the way, it's open to the public for services, I think every day at three o'clock. So you can see people coming out. I think it's three o'clock. I'll, I'll put it in the description. These doors are amazing. So massive. Carry on. The thing I love about St. Paul's, the like, lovely bit of like facts that I have, fun fact, is um, that there was a rule that no one's allowed to build within a certain proximity of the, bit of the, of the cathedral so that it can be seen. I think it was, I can't remember what yeah. king it was. Um, so it can be seen all across London from different places. So I think, yeah, oh, there's the bell. You see some more faces here. Dome, so the dome can be seen at all angles around London. Let me see if I can get the whole shot in. Oh yeah, sorry, I kind of interrupted my little, the bell kind of interrupted my little speech about it. But yeah, all around London, there's no tall buildings allowed directly by it. 
think so the king could see it. And I think from Richmond Park, or not I think, I know, from Richmond Park you could, there's actually like a gateway, there's a part in the flower garden where you can actually see St Paul's through a telescope. And that's miles and miles and miles away. But you can still see it because of the rule that you must be able to see <laughs> St Paul's at all angles. Okey-dokey. Oh, ahead of us is the River Thames and the Melonian Bridge. And that leads to Tate Britain, where you can see beautiful art and exhibitions, different events. You can even hire out the hall. Um, it's massive, yeah. And it's free to, free to join. Obviously, there's exhibitions that you have to pay for, but it's free entry and there's like five floors. So it's a worth a visit just along the Thames. And now we're going to head down to Monument. So just up this road, it will take you to where the Museum of London is, where the London Wall is, and it has a lot of information about the, like, the Fire of London there. And yeah, so all this was covered, this, all this was on, in, in flames, up in flames, all this area. Right where we are right now, it's up in flames. Red Street. Garlic Street.
skin handle, that's why. I don't know what that building is called, but I'll find out. But yeah, we are at Canning Street Station. a lot of um, buildings and yeah very congested we're now at monument station which gives us a clue that we are almost there this building here is sky gardens and right at the top it's free to go up and have a view there's like a viewing area there's also a bar and restaurant as well over here is the shard, you can see just the top of it, and that's London Bridge. I'm just gonna wait for the crossing, but yeah, it's free to go up to Sky Gardens, but um, not, obviously not free to book in advance, um, especially the restaurants. You can't, I don't think you could just show up and then maybe now, but it's always better to book anyway. So this is London Bridge. But we're not going to go over London Bridge today. We are going to look at this. The monument to the Great Fire of London. This is where it started. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate there's a massive lorry here. But let's have a read very quickly. The monument was built in 1671 and 1677 to commemorate the Great Fire of London and celebrate the rebuilding of the city. The fire began in Baker's Lane, in Baker's House, in the Baker's House in Pudding Lane on Sunday the 2nd of September 1666. It was finally extinguished on Wednesday the 5th of September after destroying the greater part of the city, which is where we've just walked. The monument is 202 feet, 61 meters high. The exact distance between it and the site of Pudding Lay is where the fire began. So there's a saying that, or saying, there's, I think it's common knowledge now, that if the monument here was laid down straight flat on the floor, the tip of it would be the start of Pudding Lane, where the fire started in the bakery. So let's head down to Pudding Lane. Um, yeah, no, I've only had a couple of like
you'd like to read this, you can pause the video here. Oh yeah, you can actually go in and climb the stairs. You have to book in advance and get tickets and climb and have a look at the top. See how tall it is. Here is Pudding Lane. started to get spread all the way back. And actually maybe we should go over the London Bridge because that's also where the fire spread onto which is why London Bridge is all changed today because there used to be houses on London Bridge. People used to live on the bridge. I think there was like two rows of houses but then the fire destroyed it so they rebuilt it and now it's just a train station. It was always a um, station like a where London transport was always busy. But um, they changed it into a, I think it was steam at the time. Yeah, I don't actually know where the baker's house is from here, but it must be on one of these roads here. Okie dokie, let's go head back to London Bridge. Oh no. Shouldn't have gone down. Okay. Have to go up some steps, get some leg work in. Back to here again, put in lane. Where the fire started. Fish Street Hill. Here we are. So 
that over here is London Bridge. Which was destroyed in the fire as well. And then further down, the Tower Bridge. And on this side of the river is where the Tower of London is. I'm not sure if the Tower of London was destroyed in the fire. I don't think the fire reached that far. I'm not sure. I feel like it should have. If it, if the fire, maybe the wind was blowing the other way. If the fire went all the way down back that way where Chancery Lane is, I don't see how it didn't reach the, the Tower of London, which is just probably a five minute walk from Pudding Lane. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were informed and you're interested in doing the the walk as well maybe with your children or maybe for your own knowledge um oh look there's that building again i must find out what that is if you know let me know and if you do, do want to do this walk comment as well let me know thank you for watching remember to like share and subscribe